Now is the time to conclude the International Conference on the 10th Death Anniversary of Venerable Myogong De Heng under the title of Buddhist Nun Sangha Around the World Present Future. We speak di different languages. But we are all connected through Dharma and the Sangha community. So from the first day we met, we didn't feel any awkwardness. We recognized each other as precious Dharma friends. Meetings and events like this serves as a beacon that illuminates the spiritual path that has unfolded from the time of Buddha. I think it came to mind to all of us that we should have more opportunities like this on a regular basis. The picture of His Holiness Dalai Lama weeping uh, from Venerable Tupchen Children's presentation still remains in my mind. I was pent up after hearing the reality of nuns who got ordained with pure faith but had to had to go through difficulties. My teacher, Master De Heng, always said that all the sounds from the universe teach us. The sounds of birds chirping, wind blowing, leaf falling are not written down, but auspicious teachings of Buddha. Uh, realizing the experiences we are going through are materials for Buddhist practice and with the great compassion from our teachers who infuse disciples with the wisdom. I pray practice environment for all the nuns across the world will be improved. I also hope 2023 Shakadita International Conference will be successful. Uh, before I end the speech, I would like to thank the speakers who delivered the great speeches at the opening ceremony and also distinguished guests, including Venerable Jin, the head of the Education Department of Jogi Older, Venerable Babsan, head of Central C Committee of Jogi Older, Venerable Bonga, president of Korean Bikshuni Association, also Samaneris from Monastic Training School of Ummunsa, Dongaksa, Chonghamsa. I don't want to leave out nuns from Bongyongsa who weren't able to come but present with the hurt. I'd like to extend my gratitude to professors who presided the conference, Venerable Hassan, General Manager of the Dengson Research Institute, researchers and staff in charge of broadcasting, translation, and the staff at the information desk. Last but not the least, all the devotees who made this possible. Thank you.